The Rottweiler is a domestic dog breed that is classified as medium to large dog. Because their primary function was to herd animals and drive carts packed with butchered meat to markets, the dogs were dubbed Rottweiler butchers dogs in German. This practice persisted until the mid-19th century, when railways replaced droving. Rottweilers are currently utilized as search and rescue dogs, guard dogs, and police dogs in many regions of the world, in addition to herding livestock. Rottweilers are a highly intelligent breed that is generally eager to please and trainable. Early socialization and teaching appropriate behavior will help bring out the best in your dog. The puppy's first seven or eight weeks with the breeder are crucial, which is why you should look for a breeder who spends time with the puppies in their house. Starting at birth, the puppies should be handled on a daily basis at around the sixth or seventh week. It is critical that the puppies begin meeting outsiders as soon as possible. It's also crucial for them to socialize with their other dogs, especially in the sixth week. A puppy should never be withdrawn from its mother before the age of seven weeks. It is critical to begin Rottweiler training as soon as possible. I would advise you to begin training right away. If you start teaching your puppy between the ages of six weeks and six months, you will have the best results. It may take a little more time, effort, and patience if your Rottweiler is older. But don't let this put you off. The Rottweiler is regarded for being a loyal, clever, and obedient dog. Don't be discouraged if your Rottweiler is elderly and untrained, they just want to make you happy. You can train a dog of any age using positive reinforcement training and correct dog communication. The idea behind dominance-based training is that we set rules for the dog to obey all of the time in order to enhance his behavior. Dominance is an overused and frequently misunderstood dog training phrase. We don't need to be bossy with our pets, instead, we should be gentle and patient. Without being rough with the dog, there are various things you may do to foster good Rottweiler behavior. Aggression should never be directed against your dog. If you believe that beating your dog will demonstrate your dominance and authority, you are training your dog incorrectly. It's critical that your Rottweiler be at ease among other people and dogs. This can be accomplished by bringing your dog for walks, visits to the park, and visits to friends' homes, as well as inviting friends and family over to your home. It is critical to socialize your dog if you want them to be happy and comfortable. Social interaction with other dogs and people is crucial in molding a puppy into the dog he will become. In many ways, socialization is more important than dog training for your Rottweiler's health. Maintain a pleasant and good social experience for your dog at all times. These are the experiences that teach him or her whether he should be fearful or confident. Once your dog has mastered a few instructions, you can try distracting them with sit, down, or paw commands. Because dogs have such a short attention span and short-term memory, these simple distractions can be extremely helpful in establishing excellent social behavior. Positive reinforcement is a method of training your dog that involves attaching a reward to his actions, which are usually the ones you want him to repeat. The greatest approach to communicate with your dog is to use reward-based training. You are speaking to him in a language that he understands when you reward any behavior that you want to see him repeat. The Rottweiler doesn't speak English or even understand humans very well, but he'll soon figure out which behavior earn him a reward. Making your training feel like a game is a very efficient kind of dog training that works wonders during your sessions. You can do this by rewarding them with snacks, toys, or praise. When you're trying to teach your Rottweiler an order, and they follow it to your satisfaction, instantly reward them. A word about food rewards. Rottweilers are known for being overweight, and because training may be a lengthy process, you may mistakenly feed your dog too much food, causing him to become overweight and unhealthy, so use caution when using high-fat treats. During training, physical discipline should never be utilized. 
If you're teaching your Rottweiler a command and they don't follow it, hitting or yelling at them is counterproductive. This merely makes them afraid and discourages them from learning the command in the first place. If you're getting frustrated, take a break, do something else for a while, and come back to it later. The dog will be scared and confused if you yell and lose your cool. The timing of good dog training is crucial. The Rottweiler that was disciplined three hours earlier for toileting in the house has no idea what he has done. This dog should not be disciplined in any way, as punishment is ineffective. It's a dog training technique that's both common and ineffective. Your dog will be overjoyed if you praise him for sitting just as he gets up and walks away. You've just rewarded him for walking away, and guess what, the next time you ask him to sit, it will remember and walk away again. To complete your training, your Rottweiler, whether a puppy or an adult, needs to learn a few simple instructions. The positive reinforcement techniques I mentioned previously must be used to teach these commands. You'll be well on your way to owning an obedient and well-behaved Rottweiler if you follow these basic commands. Sit should be the first command you teach your Rottweiler. This command will make your life a lot easier. When you train them to sit, difficult duties like feeding and grooming become a lot easier. To encourage your dog to sit, you must first ensure that they are paying attention to you. I prefer to use my hands instead of my voice since it trains your dog to pay attention to you. It is possible to drown out and disregard other people's voices. Your dog will be more likely to pay attention to what you are asking them to do if you encourage them to focus their attention on your hands. If you want them to learn voice instructions as well as hand signals, I would consider utilizing short, one or two word commands in addition to the hand signals so they can learn the command by listening as well. This is a crucial command for your dog to learn. They must be able to recognize when they are making a mistake. You must develop your disciplining voice before you can teach them the no, command use a forceful, low-pitched tone of voice. It's also crucial to remember not to make things too complicated using no command for a dog terms. Simply say no or any word you like, such as stop or bad. It's critical that you figure out which word to use and that you exclusively use that word when disciplining or discouraging your dog. Please keep in mind that you should only use this. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe, like and comment.